And news continues over here. Hello and welcome. I'm Pallavi Ghosh and let's talk about the presidential and the vice presidential elections. Well, the stage is set for the battle for the vice president's post as the opposition has picked a veteran leader, former Rajasthan governor Margaret Alwa as its vice presidential candidate. This decision was taken anonymously by the 17 opposition parties after a meeting at the residence of the NCP chief Sharad Pawar. Ahmadbi Party and TMC, however, skipped the meeting and therefore, so far, there's no indication of any support coming in from them. Margaret Alva is going to be facing the NDA's choice, West Bengal Governor Jagdeep Dhankar, for the same post. Let me go across to my colleague Nikhil, who has been uh, reporting from the spot. The absence of AAP and Trinamool Congress, do you think, Nikhil, that's worrying the rest of the opposition parties? Well, that's very much uh, worrying, uh, Pallavi, you see, because the report suggests that on 21st of July, that means after a few days, uh, Mamta Banerjee and TMC party leaders, they will call all the MPs from Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha and they will discuss over the NDA candidate uh, who has been named yesterday by uh, JP Nadda, who is the president of uh, Bharati Janata Party, and they are going to decide as to what their call is going to be on his name. Then the future course of action will take place. But uh, yes, today they have skipped the meeting. Two of the uh, opposition parties, crucial opposition parties, Aam Army Party and TMC, they have skipped the all-party meeting, opposition party meeting, which held at the residence of Sharad Pawach, 6 Janpat Road. And we asked this question to many of the leaders. Uh, Malika Jan Kharge and D. Raja also said that, see, we are going to uh, establish a connection with both these parties. And uh, in fact, uh, Malika Arjun, uh, while speaking to CNN News 18, has clearly said that uh, she is uh, busy somewhere in some of the uh, video conferencing. And uh, once the VC is done of Mamta Banerjee, Sharad Pawar in person will directly make a connection with her. And uh, they are also going to tell about the unanimous decision which, which has been taken by the 17 opposition parties, excluding TMC and Aam Aadmi Party. And he is very much hopeful that as decided unanimously by the opposition parties, the support will be given by TMC party as well. So uh, definitely on one side it is worrying, on another side the reports are coming that on Dhankar, the TMC and Mamta Banerjee in particular, they are yet to take a, a official stand, official call on 21st of June. Pallavi. Okay, that's going to be important to see whether the Trinamool Congress and the Amani Party shows its support for Margaret Alva because remember the choice of the NDA is the former, uh, is in fact the governor of West Bengal with whom the TMC has always been involved in a bit of a slugfest. Thank you very much, Nikhil, for getting us all these details. But staying with the story, the BJP President J.P. Nadda has lauded the choice of Jagdeep Dhankar uh, as the vice presidential candidate, saying that he has a track record of service for the society. <laughs> जो साधारण परिवार से निकल करके सामाजिक आर्थिक कठिनाइयों को झेलते हुए और जिसे हम कहें कि एक हंबल बैकग्राउंड से आकर एक किसान पुत्र ने एक फर्स्ट जनरेशन प्रोफेशनल के रूप में अपने आप को आगे बढ़ाया और एक सक्षम प्रशासक के रूप में भी और सक्षम राजनेता के रूप में भी तीन दशक तक जीवन में उन्होंने सामाजिक सेवा देश सेवा की और उच्च उच्च कोटि की देश सेवा की ऐसे प्रत्याशी को हम सब लोग किसान पुत्र को लेकर के आए हैं मिसेस अलवा हैज बीन नेम्ड एज द वीपी अपोजिशन कैंडिडेट व्हाट डू यू थिंक दैट यू नो शी हैज बीन चोजन आउट ऑफ ऑल आउट ऑफ अदर्स शी इज वन ऑफ द एक्सपीरियंस्ड पॉलिटिशियंस स्टेट्समैन इन आवर कंट्री शी विल बी अ right person uh, to field as candidate for wife's vice president that's how the decision was taken and uh, she is uh, we all agree she is a deserving person and competent person and experienced person and uh, she can put up the political contest मार्गेट अलवाजी का नाम पर सहमति से मोल उठाई है अनुभवी नेता रही केंद्रीय मंत्री फॉर्मर गवर्नर बहुत साल राज्यसभा में रही पार्लियामेंट में रही ये चुनाव हम अपनी ताकत से लड़ेंगे शी इज राइट नाउ इन अडियो कॉन्फ्रेंस सम मीटिंग 
and she is not able to uh, talk to us and they also could not contact her but in all probabilities tmc is on board with other opposition parties and amadmi party convened they announced their support to mr ashwan sena at the latter stage in the same way they will announce support all other parties are here दोनों वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग में है वो खत्म होने के बाद पवार साहब उनके साथ भी कांटेक्ट करेंगे इससे पहले भी बात किए थे जब कैंडिडेट अभी तय नहीं हुआ था अब तय होने के बाद भी ट्राई करें लेकिन वो वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग में है खत्म होते ही पवार साहब उनसे बात करेंगे राष्ट्रपति चुनाव के लिए हम सब के तरफ हमने एक कैंडिडेट अनाउंस करने का तय किया कैंडिडेट आप जानते हैं श्रीमती मार्गरेट अलवा मार्गरेट अलवा शी वॉज मिनिस्टर इन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया She was a Rajya Sabha member for many years. Governor. She was a governor also, and she was the person who got the vast experience in administration and in parliamentary affairs. A day ahead of the presidential polls, a political war has already erupted. Opposition's presidential candidate Yashwant Sinha has written a letter to all members and has hit out at his opponent Draupadi Murmu. In the letter, he says that Murmu would just be a rubber stamp, protecting the prime minister. Meanwhile, Tejaswi Yadav or the RJD has also said the same thing, saying that we need a Rashtrapati. who is not a statue but someone who speaks he went on to say that people have never heard dopadi murmu ever utter a single word logo ko rashtrapati bhavan mein koi murti to nahi chahiye hum log rashtrapati ka chunav aapne kabhi yashwant sinha ji ko to har jagah aapne suna hoga lekin jo satta paksh se jo umedwar di gayi bola ki choti mu badi baat bolni nahi chahiye लेकिन हमने कभी नहीं सुना और हमको नहीं लगता कि आप लोगों ने भी उनकी आवाज को सुना होगा एक भी प्रेस वार्ता जब से उम्मीदवार बनी है एक भी प्रेस वार्ता नहीं किया है Well, let me go across to my colleague Nikhil who is still outside and reporting on these presidential elections you know Nikhil uh Uh, the numbers are certainly stacked in favor of the nda but do you think there is going to be a lingering effect of whatever the result is to just go on to show the divide within the opposition at least as far as the dropadi murmu election is concerned well palavi we have already seen that many of the political parties like the, uh, in, including that of mayawati bsp party she has already extended uh, her support to the nda candidate dropadi murmu and there are other opposition parties as well who have already given their support to the nda candidate so definitely this is something which is going to be seen uh, you know when the uh, in fact tomorrow there is this election of the presidential candidate but now a written uh, a letter has been written by yashwan sena who is the opposition president candidates he has written this letter to all the members saying that uh, draupadi murmu is going to be a rubber stamp and this is something which has you know uh, now in different corners many people are seeing this with uh, other of the view they are saying that when you talk about the presidential post this is not the kind of language this is not the kind of words which should be used by the another nominee so these are the reactions which are coming and we have also heard the voice of tejaswi yadav from bihar he has clearly said uh, days back that he has never heard and in fact there are others as well who have never heard speaking murmu so she is clearly going to protect the prime minister and they are not going to follow any of the ideology whereas yashwant sena has said that his ideology is that of constitution on the otherwise the ideology of draupadi murmu is to you know tweak the constitution according to their wishes so this is the war of words which we are you know seeing before the election which is supposed to happen on 18th of july that means tomorrow pallavi okay thank you very much nikhil for getting us those details but staying on the news